read an article um, not long before about a dance show that had done an interesting thing where they had um, done rear projection behind a dancer and then they had a live video feed of the dancer that they then fed into the program and then manipulated so that she had like a larger than life distorted shadow behind her that moved oh, cool. exactly with her as she moved and that idea really uh, was interesting to me and so that was actually the original idea for the ghost was that we were going to um, record Brian live and feed that into the system mm -hmm. um, to do on that. stage on st yeah. uh, either on stage or off stage that was kind of I was like I have this idea for the ghost when she asked me like a year ago yeah and I was like I have this idea for the ghost I don't know how well it'll work but whatever it's like yeah I want to do that and then in about Yeah, so then for the ghost, the more we started to talk about it, it started to be, it shifted more from the ghost being on stage and projected at the same time to just being a projection of him. And originally, he was just going to stand uh, off stage in a wing somewhere and do the whole thing. Um, and then that became a whole bunch of technical hurdles that we had to jump through. Um, and so we realized it would just be easier to record him doing a bunch of stuff. And then I just... Uh, edited together um, all of the videos that are then projected and so that's yeah. and then it took a little bit more work on the part of the other actors because rather than reacting to um, a live feed that could kind of that yeah. they could play with it was a bit it was a recording but um, they figured it out and it worked well so sure so that's kind of um and so we just, I just wound up taking Brian and doing, and just recording him in front of a green screen for like an hour, um, getting a whole bunch of different stuff with him and Denise, and then I cut that together into what was put into the show.